Hi guys, welcome back to Conservation Corner. I'm Travis Schaefer. And I'm Brian Parker. And we'll be looking at another way to get involved in the natural resources that Lee Summit Parks and Recreation has to offer. Today's topic is birding. And for this, all you're going to need is a good identification guide of some sort. It could be a book like this or an app on your phone. Another thing that does come in handy is a pair of binoculars, but it's not really a necessity whenever it comes to birding. We're going to head out to Pleasant Lee Park, meet up with Brian, and he's going to go over some ways that you can get out in our park systems or in, our, in your backyard and enjoy these birds. Thanks Travis, this is Birder Brian here. And we've been seeing an increase in people slowing down, staying in their parks, neighborhoods, and homes. And with that, there's been an increase of birding and people observing the birds and sounds of the birds around us. And so, uh, we have an activity to lead you in. Uh, it's called the Bird Sit. It's great for all ages and seasons and experience levels in this. And so all you really need is yourself and to get outside. Um, if you want, you can bring some bins and a field guide to help get a larger uh, and more in-depth uh, knowledge of the birds that you are encountering. And hopefully um, we can up our mindfulness and decrease stress and anxiety along the way. The most important thing to do on a bird sit is to go in with a beginner's mind, so putting down past experiences and expectations. Our goals here are mindfulness and adjusting our senses to the world around us so that we can be directly listening and seeing the birds so we have something to focus on. Birding right now is really incredible because bird migrations are high, and so at night they're migrating through this part of Missouri, going north, and we can see really interesting species right now, such as warblers and hummingbirds and orioles. So we're going to go for about 10 minutes. Stay longer if you would like, but just try to really observe your surroundings and turn off your electronics. Thank you, Brian, for getting us up to speed on birding and giving us some ideas on how we can enjoy the birds in our parks and in our own backyards. And we hope this becomes a way for you guys to enjoy our natural resources, and we hope to see you in the park soon.